What's up guys, Knife Fanatic here, and today we're going to be doing a little install video on a, uh, a few different things for this Spyderco Shaman. Um, so we'll be installing um, some AWT scales and these beautiful Cerakoted burnt bronze uh, color. And then we got a Lynch Northwest clip with this nice uh, blurple anodized titanium color. And uh, some CME or compression made easy, um, which is going to go basically right on that compression lock right there to uh, be able to, come on, focus. There we go. It's going to go right here to um, just allow better access to that compression bar um, for easier uh, unlocking and whatnot. So... Yeah, this will be uh, my first time installing some scales on the Shaman. So, uh, yeah, this will be an interesting video. Um, but I think basically what we'll need for this installation is uh, just a T6 Torx driver, um, a T8, and possibly uh, another um, driver with another uh, T8 bit because... Actually, I think it might be T10 for the pivot. Um, let me double check that real quick. Uh, let's see. Because the uh, the pivot screw is not captive, so we might have to hold. Um, let's see, this is T9. That's the next one up. We might have to hold the other... Um, pivot screw while we unscrew the other side so yep t10 yeah so this is going to be a t10 um for the pivot screw and uh we'll go ahead and switch this out to a t10 as well So yeah, T, uh, T10 on this side, T10 on that side, and I believe we're going to have to switch back to a T8 for the, uh, let's see, the body screws, I think. Let me double check on that as well. So yeah, T8 for these body screws as well. And then T6 for the pocket clip. Let's see. Um, some quick specs that I want to go over real quick before we dive into this and uh, changing out the scales. Um, so this is printed off the uh, AWT website. Um, these are the Agent Series skinny scales uh, with the clip side liner delete. They're Cerakoted. Uh, they're made from 6061 aluminum. Let's see, one of the liners have been removed, which reduces the overall weight by half an ounce. Uh, additionally, by removing the backspacer and installing standoffs, you can further reduce the weight close to one ounce. Uh, you can buy the Yojimbo kit since it has multiple standoffs, plus you'll have additional hardware. Overall width has slightly been reduced from 0.535 inches to 0 0.500 inches. Um, let's see. So yeah, with the uh, factory knife, uh, with the G10 grips, the weight is 5.1 ounces, which is what it's configured in right now. The uh, the weight with the aluminum grips is going to be 4.6 ounces. And then uh, if you install the standoffs instead of the backspacer, which it's going to reduce the weight down to 4.2 ounces, um, factory overall width is 0.535 inches and the uh, overall width is 0 0.510 inches with the uh, scales installed. So uh, there you guys go. Let's go ahead and just do a little scale check. Um, why not? 
let's see. So, 5.1 ounces for the factory weight. Even though we just read that off the paper. Um, Alright, so... We'll do the, uh, the clip last. And, um... Let's see. Let's go ahead and open these suckers up. Man, these are really nice. Let's get a close-up shot. So they have, yeah, some some texture to it, but uh, not a whole lot. Very nice uh, chamfered edges here. But yeah, they're super light. And uh, I'm not, I don't have uh, the standoffs for this. I'm just going to install the uh, stock backspacer and uh, kind of see how it looks and feels. And um, if I want, you know, later down the road, I'll probably switch off, switch out to those, uh, the standoffs. And then um, this little guy, this is the CME, other, other, uh, Otherwise known as the uh, compression made easy. But yeah, this has a little cutout right there for um, the back of the blade or the uh, choil area right there rather. So it's just going to fit. Let's see. Just like that pretty much when it's done. And that just gives you a little bit more access to that uh, compression bar. And uh, these are the pivot screws that the AWT scales came with, which I believe are a little bit shorter because the, um, you know, if the scales are going to be a little bit skinnier than the stock ones, I think uh, the pivot screws are going to be a little bit too long, maybe. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and start taking off the body screws. right here Go ahead and switch to our T10 bit here. I'm not sure if these, um, you know what? Oops, there goes one screw. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take off the pocket clip as well. Actually, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if uh, the pocket clip screws are. <clears throat> holding in that back spacer there to the scale. Go ahead and set that right there.
go. And this screw does not want to come out. set these body screws right here switch back to the T10 it's T10 right yep there's one pivot screw the other there's our compression and our blade with and there's our backspacer and then this um, I think we just need this bar here and that should be it So yeah, I don't think, here's this other body screw. Yeah, we can just totally uh, <clears throat> put this, this scale up into storage. Put that backspacer here. And I'm just gonna kind of clean off good I'm just gonna clean these off too and uh, yeah we can just throw these in the baggie <clears throat> I'm actually going to throw, actually I'll switch these out. So these are the uh, the new pivot screws that the scales came with. We can actually probably see a difference in the length here. Let's see. Yeah, they, they look just uh, a little bit shorter than the uh, stock pivot screws. Throw those in there. this up real good
Hmm. Looks like there's a kind of like an uneven edge there on that washer. I'm not sure. Set that right there. Okay. Clean this guy off real quick too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this uh, compression liner on there just like that. And then after that, we can throw on our backspacer here. Just to kind of hold that liner in place. Again, you can get um, the Ojimbo to uh, hardware kit, which has standoffs to replace this backspacer, um, which will further reduce the overall weight um, of the knife I believe close to an ounce is what they said but I'm just gonna see um, how these scale uh, sorry how the how the backspacer looks and feels um, with these scales and then you know I'll, I'll see about getting the the hardware kit with the standoffs Alright, so we got our backspacer installed there. Next, we are going to, let's see, this. I really don't like how this washer is. I don't know if y'all will be able to see that, but on the edge, I mean, these are, this is a brand new Shaman too, so I don't know. It's the, right here, it's just uh, pretty rough on that edge there. It cat, it's catching my nail there. So I might order some new washers, all right, so now we're going to install our pivot screw, um, and you're going to want to install it. There's a certain way, um, because the D shape is only on one side, and it's going to be on the opposite side of the compression. So if you also look at your scale here, um, this is going to tell you how it needs to go. So... D shape is on this scale uh, with the flat side facing down and so we're going to have to orientate the pivot like so. That looks good enough. Alright, now we're going to, and we're just going to add just a little bit of lube there. I'm using uh, this honey carbon medium and uh, what I like about this lube is that when it dries out it's uh, it has like a graphene type of base to it so 
when it dries out, it, it leaves leaves behind this uh, graphene powder. All right, so now we'll go ahead and throw in our stop pin. So I guess what I can do is, since it's not, it's kind of giving me a hard time lining this up. Is this T8 or T10? All right, I think we got it, guys. All right, we're just going to throw in these other two body screws back here.
All right. Wow. That was, uh, <laughs> took longer than I expected. And yeah, we definitely need to loosen these guys just a little bit. Yeah, we can probably centering is gonna be off just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna grab a piece of paper real quick so we can fix this centering issue, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with uh, some paper. So how to fix a centering issue is um, you can just get a piece of paper and fold it up like this. Basically, uh, actually, you want it to uh, kind of unscrew everything a little bit. So, yeah, make sure everything loosened up a little bit. And then what you're going to want to do is stick the piece of paper just like that. And then go ahead and kind of screw everything back in. And that should help with centering somewhat, at least. And that looks a lot, a lot more centered to me now. Wow, this feels so much better, guys. Holy crap. Yeah. Man, this... These scales... I mean, one, they just look absolutely gorgeous on this knife. And two, I mean, they feel so comfortable. Holy crap. Yeah, this is definitely a nice upgrade for this knife. Yeah. So let's uh, check how it's not a completely drop shutty, but I mean... I think it's good enough, to be honest. I don't need this to be, you know, completely drop shutty. I'm sure it'll break in some more. So, yeah, guys. Um, you will need to lock tight the pivot screws, um, which I had already done. Um installed the clip 
If y'all want to see the installation of this, go check out that video because this video is going to be already too long. Um, but we tried get, getting that blade as centered as possible there. I think it looks pretty good. And that backspacer doesn't, I don't think it looks bad. And the weight, um, you know, I think it's manageable. I'm not really worried about the weight that much. Um, let's just do a uh, little weight check here. So now it's coming in at 4.6 ounces. But yeah, guys, um, I think these scales look so freaking awesome. Um, they feel really good. And the backspacer, I think it looks nice. It's not too bad. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Knife Fanatic out.